was a little girl in Massachusetts, we didn't have holidays like this. The only way you ever heard about your African-American culture was either at home, from your parents, or at church. Finally, with Kwanzaa and some of the other African-American celebrations, young children can hear about your culture and your ancestors. Why do you make candy yams for Kwanzaa, Grandma? I make candy yams for Kwanzaa because I feel that yams are a pretty traditional Kwanzaa dish. In Africa, yams and sweet potatoes are pretty standard, basic food. You need to go wash your hands, Des. There you go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is wash the potatoes. Kind of scrub them with your fingers. Now you can dry them. And I'm gonna prick them with a fork. Why are you pricking them with a fork, Mommy? Just to let the um, steam out when they cook. Otherwise, they would like kind of blow up. Ooh, I <laughs> All over the up. microwave. Awesome. We can put two on each. Not too close together, maybe about an inch apart, okay? Okay. When was the first time you made this recipe? Oh my goodness, Des, I was a little girl and it was Thanksgiving. We only had candied yams on special occasions. The first time I ever pretty much made it by myself with my mother's help, she told everybody at the Thanksgiving table and they all clapped. Okay, Des, now I need you to put a fourth of a cup of sugar in there. Poke it down with your hand. Really hard, Des, so it was not that hard. <laughs> keep going, keep going. More. Okay, Woo. and a half a teaspoon of salt. Salt, salt. There, that's good. And pour it in here. And you get to stir and stir and stir, okay? Uh-uh, uh-uh, you'll burn yourself. Okay, I think this is ready. Four, three, two, one. And Carefully, carefully, pick them up. Yes. Why does it sound like it's farting? I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, we'll give them about 10 minutes in there so we can handle them. What are you looking for, Des? A present for Kwanzaa. What is this? Oh, it's a remote switchblade. You still like Lego things? I love Legos, Grandma. Oh, they're a little warm, but I think we can handle this. So what I'm gonna do is cut them in half like this, which also helps them cool some more. I'll try, carefully. That's it. Now, here comes the little tricky part. I'm trying to peel them. I can do that. I'll tell you what, I'll do this part and then you can put them back on here. No, can I try one? So you can try one, yeah. Let me get it started for you. Dang, this is hot. Careful, Des. Don't burn yourself. And don't cut yourself either. Okay. Can you bring it over? Put it right down there in the sink, the whole pan. That's it. You're gonna like this part. Put that one in. I'm gonna try to turn them over like this so that they get coated, okay? And then you scoop them up and put them in here. Okay, that's it. Can you open the oven door for me, Des? Okay. One hour and 15 minutes. A lot of people think that only African American people can celebrate Kwanzaa. Anybody can celebrate Kwanzaa. Just like we celebrate St. Patrick's Day with our Irish American friends or Cinco de Mayo with our Mexican American friends. And we welcome everybody to celebrate Kwanzaa with us. No, I'm only gonna have this piece right here. Okay, don't get your fingers out. This one? Yeah. Want more than that? I'll try this first. Oh. I'm, I need to try it. Aren't we gonna say the blessing? God is good, God is great. Thank you for on our plate. Thank you for Kwanzaa today. And thank you for me and my grandma cooking this wonderful food. Amen. Uh -huh.
Ich hab den. Mm. Good? Yeah, it's good. Mm. Use your napkin, guys. Mm. Came out good, guys. Yes, it did. Happy Kwanzaa. To all. <laughs>